we have had received from Dennis this 12-year uh, plan which shows contributions into this fund uh, would go towards equipment purchases over the next 12 years. Some of them will take many, you know, a couple of years at a time to come up with the funds to do so. This mm. Warren article gives us that opportunity to put them into this dedicated fund so that the funds will be there year after year and be able to um, gather in order to do so. And possibly if we had that with this easy winner, he might be able to encumber enough monies from his, his budget to offset the other 35000 for the, the dump truck just and not have to just get him. What's that? It's just what he's got. He has yeah. just enough left in his hand. Yeah, and if he has, he was having a one of this winter, he might have enough to encumber to be able to uh, have the 35 and go with, uh, if he is able to go with what he had in his budget this year left over, 35, he'd have enough to encumber so that he wouldn't have to, with the dump truck, with the 99 that he's looking at, is it a 99? 2001 that he's looking at replacing. Mm -hmm. In 2013? Yeah. So he might be able to get that in yeah, 2012. Yeah, be able to get that in, in a year early. Either late, you know, or I mean early 2013 mm -hmm. with encumbered money plus the money that's put into this capital improvement, mm -hmm. which I think is wise. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Is there anyone opposed? So moved. Before I, I open up the public hearing on the Warren Articles, just the, two weeks ago, <coughs> we held a public hearing on the main part of the budget. But were you the only one? If you have any questions in regards to that, we'll be happy to answer them tonight. Um, tonight's purpose is to go over the Warren Articles that we had uh, gone through last. But uh, as you can see, we, we, we haven't gotten a lot of attendance. <laughs> I will. Really. I think they were here for the candy. <laughs> <laughs> and who wouldn't be, after all? <laughs> um, I'll start by just reviewing the Warren articles. Um, the first Warren article was to add $15,000 into a, a reserve fund for the Tilton Northfield Island Park. The thinking on the behalf of the budget committee was that, and this, the, with advice from the Board of Selectmen, that, that it, whether or not the town of Northfield approves their similar motion this year, at least the town of Tilton will put aside money in order to fix the island wall that's coming down. Just an FYI, Northfield Budget Committee unanimously voted that day. <coughs> they voted to recommend against. Against, yeah. yeah. Um, so that was uh, the, f the first Warren article. As you heard, the next Warren article is the $35,000 to start putting money away for capital equipment purchases for the highway department. The next Warren article um, was to raise and appropriate $60,000 for the town road streets <coughs> and bridges reconstruction and repair capital reserve fund. That fund has $253,000 in it. Looking at the 10 I think it is. Yeah, looking at the 10 year plan that Dennis had given us, we um, it, it's uh, 1.6 million over 10 years is what it's looking at spending. So uh, we should be Putting away approximately $160,000 a year, so $60,000 falls far short of that, but hopefully with the buffer that's already in there, this will help make it so that in future years there'll be money and we won't have to, we won't have to um, raise and appropriate any bond money in order to get the roads taken care of as they need to be. So we had voted to approve that. Um, the next Warren article was for $5,000 for the Recreational Facilities Capital Reserve Fund. And the Budget Committee just uh, doesn't think that that was a wise decision at this time. In years past, we've put money that was remaining in the parks budget um, at town meeting had gone in into that fund. And uh, all the members of the Budget Committee themselves voted against recommending that. Um, the next one is uh, this is uh, another capital reserve fund that we have been 
funding for a couple of years now. It's seventeen thousand dollars. Every five years, we have to do a revaluation of the entire town. It costs about ninety thousand dollars. This gives us the money at that time to do it without having it be a ninety thousand dollar hit in one year. Um, the next article was to raise an appropriate fifteen hundred dollars for lake improvement maintenance capital reserve fund. The purpose when this was established was for milfoil eradication and it's still the purpose of the fund is to have the funds available to keep our lakes the border here within the town of uh, Tilton up to snuff and hopefully that we'll get some use out of that fund. So it's something that needs to be taken care of. Um, so that's what, how the budget committee had voted on these Warren articles. And if you have any questions, I'll open it up for comment. Questions? Happy to have questions. I am like very to happy because then I don't have to keep talking. <laughs> on the first one, the proposal is what would happen? Uh, what's the expectation if Northfield votes against? If Northfield votes against it, at least in the future, for future years, we will have already set the money aside. And if they don't come up with the with the money, then then possibility is there that the town of Tilton will take on the burden by themselves and get that repaired. Is there a current estimate for the cost of the engineering study? The last estimate we had to do the project with the engineering study was well over 125,000. But that was that's probably five years old. Has there been some assessment of the level of risk that exists? No, we've not. I think this is the second, I was going to say third year we've tried to get Northfield. This will be the third attempt. Third year? I thought it was. To get in with us to, to get her done and hopefully it'll take place. The Warren articles in the past, Jim, have always stated that if one community or the other does not fund it, then this is null and void. And mm. th this year they, we've decided that that wording would not be in there. Would be a silent uh, crime that the island eventually washed away. Oh, just awful. You're getting slow. Yes, it is. Nature will take care of it one of these days if we don't Nature act. Nature will take back everything you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As far as you decide the retaining wall, it's now in the record. Was it about five years ago, that, or maybe more, that we put the rocks back in place. <coughs> they needed more than that. They well, traditionally, each spring, we would put the rocks back in place because it's not always nature that moves the rocks. So yeah. There's always some work that needs to be done, and we would <laughs> bring an excavator into the river and lift them and put them in place because they're quite heavy. DES frowns on that now. So, and I can Is this see uh, why. Is this something that Conceivably, we could, I don't know, do a, like a, a fundraising effort, you know, for the in the the area for people who value. That was my point. Yeah, I mean, I certainly some, some of the monies approach. could be raised that mm. way. If Northfield doesn't do something, they should I mean, maybe I, a different but approach. But DES, DES paid us. We they came up at our request, and um, two of them, and we went over there and we looked at it, and they want a complete study done, an engineering study. And um, they want far more than just the stones to be put back in place. They want cages and, you know. Just which with anything DES gets involved with, unfortunately. Because yeah. I guess it comes down to whether the town values that as a resource or not. And, I mean, to me, I, I mean, it's a... To me, it's obvious. It's a beautiful park and I can't... But I'm but one tiny little citizen then. <laughs> So this is really a first step. Mm -hmm. what Some of the comments that were made to me by one of the members of the Northfield Budget Committee with one of the reasons they voted, they felt that if they were going to spend any money, they'd rather spend the money somehow connecting Riverfront Park with their park in Northfield as opposed to wa wasting money on this. And that's what that was what one of their thought process was. And that's sad. 
Well, that's I'm just I'm just relaying what was relayed to me. Yeah. And, you know, but I mean, so that's a part realistically, of it is this. I realize that the river is cut down the middle, and half of it belongs to Northfield. But realistically, this is a Tilton Park. I mean, it is the accesses to it from this side and everything. And I understand where Northfield is coming from, but I'm saddened. <laughs> You can mm. you can ask all the questions you want. You've got the floor. <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, uh, next one down on the highway equipment fund, mm -hmm. mentioned that uh, we going to say this would be the first year. This would be the first year for that. Several year allocation. Yeah. And is the intention to do that uh, equally over 30 years? Yep. Um, in order to replace mm -hmm. overtime. That shows you the vehicles and the or the equipment that he's looking at replacing and when. And so there's no current balance in this fund. No, it, it hasn't even been established yet. This we're establishing it with this Warren article. In the recreation? 20, 20, 24,000, 25, is in there. Mm -hmm. they, they put in um, a well up at the 132 ball field. The deposit on the well? No, nope. we have a well. Put in the ice skating rink down there, um, which is a collapsible, um, removable, set it up, take it down every year. Ice rink, and what was what was the thing that they put the down payment on? Irrigation, Irrigation, Irrigation system in Riverfront Park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. That is a good question. Because for that purpose, it's more important. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been doing that for several years now. It's a good plan. Tony, I have a question. Can encumbered funds at the end of the year be put into capital reserve fund? Not to my knowledge. Or is it the only way you can put monies in a capital reserve fund is through a is through a Warren article? Through a Warren article. Mm -hmm. You can't add you can never add to them any other way? You have to raise and appropriate them through a warrant article. We got caught in that one year. <coughs> $30,000 worth. That you put from encumbered funds into a warrant? We didn't raise and appropriate it by a warrant article correctly. I see. <coughs> so I was thinking that that would be a, uh, a great tool to be able to use, uh, especially in the road construction, mm -hmm. to offset the difference or the, the uh, shortage that, you know, between the 160000 and the 60000 if you could take some encumbered funds every year and offset and put them into the capital reserve fund for future. Sad that they don't ha allow that to happen. Yeah. Well, for, for the last several years, we've had Warren articles that have said, you know, let's move the money that's the balance in the park department into that's right. the rec. You could do the same thing. The money that's right. left over in the highway department right. could go Maybe that's a way to address some of that. At the end of this that. year, you could have Warren articles <coughs> on 2000 and, in 2013 that would put whatever funds were left over into the reserve. Just trying to figure out a way to, to <coughs> supplement that with more money because we all know that it's short or it's going to be short because the cost is not going to go down on road construction. We have, <coughs> excuse me, we have um, his list of roads that need to be repaired but we don't completely have a plan. Mm. Of attack. In other words, what roads we're going to do but I think he was this year, up. next year, or what year? And some of those roads we haven't sat down and looked at our Class Two state aid roads, 
you know, on the sidewalks. We're going to work on that immediately after town meeting. But I remember hmm. Dennis brought in a cost estimate. Yeah. Right. Remember, right? Oh, he does. Yeah, that but, is. He has but we it. haven't it's lumped together saying 2013 mm -hmm. we're going to do these roads. But what I'm saying is the cost mm -hmm. estimate Catherine he's had is, is you know, it, 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 that's a, a guess because if fuel continues to go up. Exactly. You know we're going to do less for the same amount of money. Exactly. And I guess that's my point. And we're going to be in huge trouble if they end up end with if we end up with those class two state aid roads. With no state the aid. State is not going to yep. keep up their end of the bargain. The last year and the year before, I believe. Prior two years. Good. Mm -hmm. That's what we want. Yes. The funds do no good just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, it just keeps growing. If it doesn't get funds. taken out properly, it just spreads. And every, every, every season you wait is just a more headache and more destruction. They had a show on Channel 9 one time with a harvester for Millfoil, I remember, on one of the shows. But isn't the problem with that, I remember, read, I remember, I remember reading something about one of those, and it goes in and it rips it out, but it sends it downstream because it can't the capture all the with pieces. The the harvester, Department of Environmental Services, I actually started this one. <laughs> the Department of Environmental Services has been working on some way of really eradicating milfoil. Hand picking is yeah, the most That's what I've read as is well. the best way to do mm -hmm. it because the harvesting uh, even though it's quick it can any piece that breaks off roots. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at several ways and eventually they they're, they're going to be close. Well, they are close. Both traffic's the worst thing to, <coughs> to oh, spread it. Awful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. With a propeller going through it, it just Exactly. Just it. It drifts so it the last time I talked to them it, yeah. Bill, one thing really? mill foil has to have is light. So they're currently looking at ways of how they can eliminate light with some sort of covering which yeah. I thought was interesting. Huh. But it has to have light to <coughs> Little umbrellas all over the place. Oh, wow. That's why you see it usually. <laughs> Last year, I believe that the Christie's dredged and yep. took it out, and then you have to dispose of the soil properly, and they did all that right. That was, that was, and that, that was good, yeah. 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 I mean, it was effective, sir. Because it's a very well trafficked area with boats. So. Yeah, unfortunately, they just don't have the manpower to inspect each boat as it's pulled out. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So they don't even have signs up anymore. Yeah, I know. I was surprised about that. Sorry about Bart. that, Jim. <laughs> Last question. I, I'm on the Warren R, because I had to understand that um, none of the proposed Warren R was included in the operating budget. That is true every year. I'm just wondering whether what's the calculation impact on where you were. They all have a thousand or. One, uh, one cent for every $5,141 for one earth. One cent? Yeah. One cent in the tax rate for every $5,141. It's about 22 cents, I think I figured it out in my head. In total? Yeah, if all of it passes. Well, that's before we added the 35, so you'd have to add that. The 35 for the highway. Yeah. Yeah. I come up with that. Yeah. That, just that's roughly in my head, I thought it was around 22 last week when we went, or the week before when we went over them when I added them all up. Yeah, the, the operating budget was up 0.46% overall. From last year to this, so less than one percent, and the Warren articles aren't that much different. What are they? One hundred thousand dollars, maybe more. Yeah. 
than last year, so it's not going to be a huge impact on the tax rate. I, I don't feel that it will be. Did you have any other questions on, on the operating budget where you weren't here two weeks ago? Um, we have three selectmen in the audience and a reporter. So. Tim, you would know offhand. The is it is that just the town office then? No, that no, everybody. some security cameras in there too, Tim? There are. Yeah. It also offsets uh, having to spend money on Metrocast too. That we, how much was? Yeah. yeah. Sixty-two hundred last time. Yeah. They were at six, yeah, sixty, sixty-two, sixty-five hundred dollars, but we no longer pay. So. I think the other key factor too, Tim, in that is that with the Metrocast, when it was being played on channel 25 or 26, they'd play it at 1 o'clock in the morning. You know, odd times, you'd try to look at when the schedule was and it would be... Uh, <laughs> a couple hours before I get up. I usually get up around 4. But. Not to mention the fact that there were often audio problems. Um, yeah. And, uh, a lot. You know, aside from you know, someone forgets to plug in the... <laughs> Audio here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. Very clear, very um, This is a, a 
asking for interpretation, I guess. Do I, do I interpret correctly that the salaries of the chief of police and the director of public works, they are recommended by? I believe it is level funded in those lines, mm -hmm. yeah. Do I interpret that correctly to mean that's the third year that they would be level funded? Mm -hmm. There's COLA in there. Under the merit and yeah. wage section, there's for all of the employees in each department, there's a two and a half percent built in merit wage. That doesn't mean that each employee would get a two and a half percent based on merit. But that's what, so the possibility for the chief and the director for two and a half percent is there. <coughs> And also, these were budget amounts that were submitted by them themselves, which is interesting. So the chief put that in, was that? as well as the public works, they didn't uh, ask for anything. Well, the chief was right. Oh, that, that's true. Uh, I understand both sides of the potential. Pressure on leadership relative to salaries. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something to that the town has good leadership in areas that it's satisfied with. Um, we should work to ensure that we don't lose people. And we can pass the agreement. And I know that members of the selection stay in close touch with these people. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. I feel that I'm right. constantly aware of. Last year, we didn't fund any, and we zeroed out, absolutely zeroed out all the merit raises so that there could not be any increases in the salary line. Last year, that was appropriate with the state of the economy. This and year. And also, the police contract was zeroed out last year, I remember. Right. Wasn't Everything the first was year of the police contract zero raises, no raises? And this year, there is money in there, the two in the merit raise pools for exactly that, for merit raises for the employees. But one of the things I, I look at first is about two other lines. For instance, on the police, there's a, a line that uh, I saw compensated absences. More significant. Help you turn the cost. I interpreted it correctly. You have an actual line for the years that's gone up like this. The health insurance lines have all gone up with the, the new. The annual rate, annual rate increases from the health health plans. <coughs> um, we, we we have not historically we have not put in compensated absences in the line item, and we put it in this year. So we, we would have paid in the past, but uh, well, they didn't appear someplace else. So. Right. These are the buyouts. Mm -hmm. On the police. And normally the other the benefits portion of it can be 50 60 percent of your of your wages in some cases a greater mm -hmm. importance right the state started um, on a quarterly basis on the paychecks for the state employees they actually tell the employees how much money their benefits are worth their value of them so I understand totally what you what you are saying there, and, and a lot of people don't consider that to be, you know, they think that their their paycheck, what they're bringing home every every week or every two weeks, and that's it, and they don't think about the other benefits that they're getting as part of their wage. But I understand you would just say that a police officer, for instance, would get 
some kind of oh, at the state level I work for the state so uh, I see that and I don't know I don't think that's anything they put on the, the paychecks here but I know at the state level they do that and and it might be something that could be implemented so that people know you know, how much that? How much it's costing? We also. Well, I think this year, uh -huh. though, you have to really realistically look at it this year because they're getting the police are getting a raise, but they're also contributing a better percentage this year, which was contractually negotiated uh, on to their towards their health insurance. So one is going to be offsetting the other. Mm -hmm. they're, what they're taking home is considerably less than what an average employee, um, if you are town employees, which has been in the opposite direction as it has been in the past. But this year, particularly, we feel two and a half percent raise um, for our town employees and the benefits are staying the same. The police have negotiated a higher percentage in July that they'll be kicking in. Um, they pay more. They pay more towards their health insurance. So, so they they're down. so they're right. Correct. <laughs> we also established I think it was two years ago a fund for um, buying out or paying off people if they wish to purchase their health insurance through a spouse or another family member, so which <coughs> gives us substantial savings. I recall lengthy discussions uh, centered in the uh, Fire and Safety Commission around the relationship between compensation and retention. Market compensation. I'm just wondering, in a general way, whether that doesn't show up on a piece of paper that can line that. Mm -hmm. I sort of think the interplay, I assume, is between the board of selectmen who are responsible for carrying out those conversations with the police department, for instance, uh, the part of the board, and then even the conceptual framework into the budget process. Is there a concern about the pension of the selectmen's level of being a plus of the board? Uh, I don't think this year, no. Yeah. No. So that was the first of charges. I think, that I believe. I think uh, realistically, we can see um, that <coughs> I can say comfortably that we have um, realistically given them a package that they can comfortably live with if we look at the surrounding area and PDs uh, around, we will look at either towards the higher average than uh, the lower average in compensation and medical package. This past year and it's nice to feel like you're being taken care of because they really need to, some better facilities than they have. Part of a continuing conversation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so this, in, in a general way, uh, thank you for taking the time. Again, of course, I know that we're doing that. In a general way, I'd just like to recognize uh, and applaud the efforts by both the boards of the community to balance. Effort to deliver service, the effort to contain the expenses. Again, the air of the tension between those two things that exist, a lot of efforts and the results are very challenging times. And often, evident, not fully appreciated by the public. Until they get their tax bills. <laughs> and then they want our head. Twice a year. <laughs> hey, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? I will um, just one question. I will um, just make you aware that there was a petition from the fact that before us yesterday that um, 
from the Science Community Center asking for the extra $9,500 that was rejected because they did not have the significant amount of signatures on it. So you expect the town meeting that'll come up again? Yeah. Yes, that's the reason the town meeting. That's a line item adjustment. Exactly. It'll yeah. come up as a line item adjustment. Yeah. They can amend the budget line. Yeah, yeah. of course they can. Mm -hmm. But they missed it by one vote, which was unfortunate. It came in... One signature. Yeah, one signature. I'm sorry. It came in late morning, and Sydney was... We were at a class in Concord, so by the time we got back, and then the... Um, Signatures were pulled for residency and then turned in before anybody could be called. It was 4.15 and unfortunately ran out of time. It's, it's too bad it wasn't turned in on Monday. But, yeah. Well, in, in plenty of years here past, uh, Hilton has been the one to fully fund them to, to do it and it's just the opposite. And just the opposite, so. And we all suspected that was coming in anyway. Yeah, right. It's not a surprise. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. and we'll see how it works out. It's the way town meeting works. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, close the public Hearing at this point, uh, budget committee, we still have just a couple of, of uh, cleanup issues here. I think the um, town meeting is scheduled for March, Saturday, March 17th. <coughs> be there or be square. <laughs> It will be my my I think last. I'm out of town. You think you're out of town? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Meet <Me too. laughs> who? St. Patty's Day. Huh? I hope I'm not. I hate missing town meeting. Mm. Um, <clears throat> it'll be my last official act for the budget committee. Are we right, Lynn? <laughs> She's running for moderator. Yeah. <laughs> Writer in. <laughs> Yeah. I think we should do a write-in campaign yeah, think, yeah. and get Tony back on the budget committee. All right, all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to set our next regular meeting before uh, to be April 11th, which would be the regular monthly meeting on the second uh, Wednesday of the month. Wait, no, it's Wednesday. I'm going to just double-check that. So that you'll have a set time and date to meet again. Yep, Wednesday the 11th of April. Okay. Ready? It has been a great pleasure working with all of you. Well, she's looking at me like you're crazy. You'll be back I, you know, next. I like, you know, I just haven't wanted to admit this time was coming. <laughs> no, I know. You're going to leave a huge hole. A huge hole. Mm. A huge hole. Vacancies do we have versus people running for the position? Do we have some unfilled? Yeah. We need two more people. Yeah. Two more people here on the budget I'd like committee. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion. We adjourn at seven forty-two. I second it. We have a motion and a second third. to adjourn, and a third. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So moved. Thank you, Jim, for coming out. Thank you, Jim. I like the proposition. So what you're saying is, if elected, you will not yeah, serve. <laughs> She's not Lyndon Johnson. I can see, I can see a right-in vote, see? Did you get that?